We are just a few days away from the inauguration of President-elect Donald Trump. He will be sworn in as the 45th President of the United States on Friday in a day-long ceremony that is expected to be seen by millions across the country. Our Andy Madison joins us with a look at what to expect on Friday. Andy? Good evening, Olivia. There are some in Massachusetts that are making the trip down to D.C. to be there for the inauguration, while others are planning on watching the television coverage. It is certainly going to be a historic event that many will be tuning into on Friday. On Friday, Boulevard Diner is one place where you can watch the inauguration. We'll have a uh, on the TV all day, so whoever would like to come in and have coffee or breakfast, you're more than welcome to and watch it. I'll probably be in my office watching it. The inauguration of Donald Trump is expected to draw a lot of interest all across the political spectrum. I personally would not vote for him, but you know, he is the president, so congratulations. Hopefully he does a good job and does what he said he was going to do. While some politicians are not planning on attending the inauguration in D.C. on Friday, Those things are very, very troubling. Congressman Jim McGovern is planning to be there, despite being highly critical of President-elect Donald Trump both during and after the election. I've attended every inauguration um, since I got elected to Congress. Uh, presidents I agree with and presidents I, I, I didn't agree with. Um, you know, I, I, I would be lying to you if I didn't tell you I have mixed emotions because of some of the things that Donald Trump said during the campaign. It's a feeling State Senator Michael Moore agrees with. This is not about Donald Trump. This is about the swearing in of the president. And um, it's an office that we should all hold high regard for. Governor Charlie Baker will also be in D.C. on Friday to see power officially change hands, beginning a new era at the White House. This is history. I mean, how many presidents that never had any experience won the candidacy? Never. You know, so I, I want to see where this, where this goes. The inauguration takes place on Friday. Now, there are about 50 Democrats that say they are not attending the inauguration for one reason or another. But of all the local politicians we checked in with, we could not find any that were deciding not to attend the inauguration. Of course, the governor will be there. Lieutenant governor will stay here while Governor Baker is down in D.C. And again, the inauguration taking place on Friday. Olivia. All right, Andy. Thank